Hello, welcome. We're looking for John Elden Ring, star of the AAA hit game Elden Ring. And we're going to go over to the church town, and I guess I'll get a katana out or something. Or a greatsword. Probably a greatsword? I don't think I have the stats for a katana. Yeah, we can't wield Moonbell. Uh, where is... The, um... Dark Moon Greatsword, that'll work. Mostly skills with int. We got a decent amount of int. Yeah, let's let's get that out. And we can use this to beat people to death as needed. So we're here at the church district entrance, which I don't know how this connects into this stuff because I never found a door from here to here. The layout of the Shadow Keep or whatever this is called just really bothers me. Oh, we must need to drain the water, huh? Probably means going over these rooftops. Oh, it's just a little crabby guy? Hey, crabby guy. Okay, I'm, I'm not really worried about crabby guys. Let's just go in a square. Oh, that looks like a carrion magic site over there. Oh, can we jump on this little log and go out there? What was that? Fortunately, we're able to just run wearing this stuff. What is over here? Okay, well, I'll take it. I know Orange Joker would be like, why are you giving me crap like that? But, you know, I appreciate crap like that. In case anybody's interested, I just watched Five-Headed Shark Attack. Classic shark shark exploitation movie. Uh, it was terrible. Three-Headed Shark Attack was better, and that is... I don't think we can make that jump. Let's just teleport. Three-Headed Shark Attack was, was better. It had Danny Trejo in it. This movie had all the star power of uh, a black hole. Hold on, I got... I got, yeah, whatever. We don't need to talk about that. I was just talking about it because it happened to me just just recently. It was a thing. A thing that happened. Woo! We almost went a little too far there. This shield is good, man. Do we go up here? Another thing I thought about for fighting Radon was just throwing uh, 
rot pots at him. I thought maybe that might be effective. But I knew I could bleed him, so we just went with that. Gonna go boom? Yeah, he's out of the picture. Nobody tell Game Hunter. Like, when, when he gets out here to fight Radon, or alternate visuals... Uh, I don't know what name to call him. Name changes are always tricky like that. But, uh, like, no, nobody tell him about the Radon fight. Like, I, I wanted him to come out here and just be utterly flabbergasted at it. I'm really salty about it. Uh, I know when Orin played it, he cheesed the encounter with the Rolling Sparks skill. Well, that was still good. Because uh, they don't actually seem to believe in fun. No, I shouldn't say stuff like that. I saw how much damage Rolling Sparks was doing. It was definitely broken. I, I understand the nerf there. It's like back when that uh, one Ash of War that uh, some axe had that did like a frost stomp. You could like spam it as fast as you could hit the trigger. Totally broken. Like, I get it. Cannot get over there. we can go up, that means we probably need to go down? So we do. This is just all death, man. I don't really want to wear this armor. Like, I would much rather be back to being equipped like myself. This is where we're at. Hold on, I can probably, like, nail this dude with my magic from really far away, huh? Yeah, why, why fight him when we have no need to actually fight him? Sorcerer is pretty good. Uh, I don't need that on anymore, so I'm actually going to put on the other talismans. That way, our spell casting, since we're doing exploration, is hopefully much more repeatable than previously. Um, I don't know that I can get to that safely. What do you think it is? Do you think it's a Skidoo tree fragment? That would be like the only thing that get me to try that jump. Skip to Skidoo Boo. Whoop boop. Skiddly boop pop him. Skiddly boop, skiddly boop, skiddly boop pop him.
Yep, we've gone to a completely different and completely insane character concept here in order to beat this game. Oh, heck, I know where we're at, bro. I was wondering how to get up to this stuff, and now I know. So you can't actually get there from here? That's freaking infuriating. So the like two hours we spent trying to find our way up here was just impossible. I'm I'm unhappy. Carrying thrusting shield. If you know what I mean. What's down there? Oh, that's just the in that's just the normal entrance we came in at. Okay. That's where you get to this ladder? Oh my, oh my lord. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I, I am, oh. Oh, I'm unhappy with this level design. There. Wait, did I even smith the shield up? I didn't even smith the shield up, bro. I think it would have got way more guard if I had. <laughs> oh no! We, we did that whole thing just nerfed. That's funny. That's freaking funny. All the stuff I was trying to figure out how to get to, we just got to. Fire Serpent, that sounds cool. We cannot jump on that, huh? That means the game wants us to go outside. Of course it does. We're on the giant tower. Naturally, we all just want to go play outside. Shadow Sunflower. Cool. I don't know what those are used or what those get crafted into. Glad to have it. Another Blessed Bone Shard. Orin was. He wanted those for something or other. I don't remember what. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and rest here.
Hanover this is. This is the very tip top. Yeah, because that's uh, Mesmer's place right over there. We're still going up? Okay, so there's a few baddie boys up here. Goodbye. Oh, our damage is increased right now. We got a blood, uh, a bleed proc. So we got a damage buff. That's fun. I don't like fighting up here. Okay. Almost fell. We're fine. Don't worry about it. We're okay. Yes, sorry. We're we're A O freaking K. I should get the uh, Glenstone out. Glenstone Pebble. I don't like it up here, guys. I really don't like it up here. Fall damage is the only thing I fear right now. Oh no. Is this just a dead end? Am I supposed to be able to get around that? I don't think we can get around it. Okay. Okay, so this was a dead end. That's fine. Dead ends are okay. Go back around this way. back around this way. That's a dead end, huh? So we actually need to drop down like this and kill that guy. And we can jump there. Alright, right, we made it. That's right, we flipped -derp 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 -derp. Get there. You gotta make the noises you gotta make when you're doing this kind of stuff. Another guy over here? Yeah, there he is.
Okay, so that's a ladder down. Which doesn't get me over there, but there's a ladder up that looks like it will. Let's try this ladder down, see where it goes. Oh, this looks safe. Oh, this is completely unsafe. This is anti-safe. Supposed to go here? Gosh. Oh, gosh. That doesn't open, okay. Where are we going, man? Hey, okay, well, we found a grave site. Okay. You know what? I think we're just going to go ahead and rest. Because, yeah, I knew this looked like a boss arena. Ow. Man, I thought Radam was mobile. This guy's way, way more mobile. Very bleedable, though. Our little dude to get his aggro again. Just like that. Okay, so that's just General Radon. Like, you didn't do anything new there. Again, this is all just General Radon. Cool. Hey, you're just interrupting my attacks. What? Okay. Okay, game. Now that I know, we can better prepare ourselves for this crap.
And he does, uh, like, magic damage, right? Got him. Drink fat, drink fat. Hit this again. Let's just bleed him a couple of times. Get our block up. Wow, I'm glad I wasn't involved in that. for losing aggro for a second. Got him. So that's Commander Gaius. Uh, since we we are no longer in the business of dodging attacks and instead are in the business of tanking them, he wasn't actually that tough. So it turns out the secret to this game is, in fact, Unga Bunga. I Unga, you Bunga, and we Winga. Something like that. All right. Well, that was great. Commander Gaius, down. Let's keep going. That'll be in the next episode.